Good evening, good people. Um, it's Ruth again. You know, I liked my, um, my, uh, uh, Northern Lights swipe so much that I decided I would try to do a, uh, a straight pour using the same colors to see how it comes out. Um, it'll be kind of interesting. My uh, paints are mixed three to one, all Arteza with the exception of the purple and that is Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple. And I'll give you all the colors here in just a second. I just put a couple of drops of silicone in each of my paints because I forgot to do it. My uh, paints are so that they leave a mound that's there for about two seconds. I have a 10 by 10 canvas that I'm working with today. My um, flow color is going to be black. My fl or flow extender is going to be black. Um, let's see, what else? What else? I got my Lola Vefi mat today. I went ahead and ordered it a few days ago because I wanted to see what it was like. I've heard a lot about it. I was expecting a very thick mat and it's actually very thin. So we'll see what happens with my, um, with all my paints and whatnot afterwards. It's kind of a cool little thing. I got the big one so I could, uh, play around a little bit, make some scans, you know, and have plenty of room. So, finished getting my house together today. I went through this, this past year, I went through, I guess, a little bit of a depression um, with the way things were going at work. And so my house kind of fell apart. I wasn't really doing a lot in there. And a friend of mine came over today, well, she came over a few days ago and helped me with my craft room, which, you know, we still had a little bit to do in there, but my craft room looks absolutely wonderful. And I can go in there and actually work and think about what I'm doing instead of being stressed out about the mess. Then we went through the kitchen and living room and all, you know, the rest of the house. And it looks magnificent. I didn't realize that I was going through a depression until um, I got to my new unit. And the new unit was free because it's a different system that I'm working in. And it made me realize that I was a little bit depressed. I mean, I was ready to be done with my job. So I'm happy to go to work again. Happy to be painting. Happy to have my craft room back. So here's our colors today. This is Pearl Sapphire Blue. And Mid Green. And... Thalo Blue, I love that color. It is such a rich looking color. Um, let's see, this is Yellow Green. And then we have the Liquitex Basics um, Dioxazine Purple because we all know that that's one of my favorites. Actually, I think they're all my favorites. So I'm gonna pour into my little cup here. Really need to scrape this cup out. It's got so much paint dried in it. And again, I'm gonna use my um, use my black as a flow extender. I think I told you I have a 10 by 10 canvas. So let's do some pouring, shall we? I should be able to get a couple of layers, at least uh, two layers with this paint. I'm hoping for three. Put this back so I don't get all mixed up. So we're going with. So I did the sapphire blue. The um, hello. Okay. The mid green. This is the thalo blue. I'm also making a mess on my canvas. This is the yellow green. and the dioxazine purple. And then we're gonna go back through and do it again. So 
You can fast forward through this if you want. I should have just went ahead and poured the paints before I started, but I wasn't thinking. All my paints are mixed three to one with Floetrol and a little bit of water for consistency. And I'll have to show you guys the um, the dried product of the um, the swipe. The swipe came out really nice, and it is already sold. I varnished it today, and I'm waiting for it to dry. I'm going to put one more coat of varnish on it. So she wanted varnish instead of resin, but it came out really cool. It's very it's dark, but with the varnish on it, it um, some of the areas pop really well. I'm going to go ahead and use up all this paint. Pretty colors. Pretty, pretty. But we'll see what happens. So my husband just got home from work. And apparently he noticed I wasn't in the house. So I got three layers out of this paint. Seems very thick. It was uh, mixed so that it would leave a mound for like two to three seconds. But, um, and the purple I kind of overdid, so I'm not gonna use all of it. All right, here we go. Let's put a little bit of the black in the center. And we pour. And I'm sure I have way too much paint for this canvas. I didn't measure it. So I finished a commission piece the other day. And it's really cool because the young lady that I did the commission piece for now wants two more. And um, she only gave me what she wanted for one of them, but it's going to be really easy to do, I think. So that should be kind of cool. Okay. Oh, that looks really cool in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's cells popping up everywhere inside the cup. So, let's do a little tilt around. If I need the black, I'll use it. I probably will. Yeah, I think I'm going to need it. Let's pop some bubbles. Got my new little torch here. Easier to use. And I can do jelly cubes or jelly clusters if I want to because it's small enough. Pop some air boobies. And let's do a little bit of black around the edges. I'm going to have to mix up some more black. This black has lasted me a long time. I filled this cup up and it's just now um, running out. You can see I reuse my sticks. Yeah, you got it. Save money where you can. So. And since I spend so much money on paint, I figured I could save money this, this way. Okay. Let's tip, shall we? 
All right. That actually looks really pretty. That purple came out really thick on the end, though. The last one I put in. But we'll see what happens. Still recording? Yep. I told my husband I wanted a better, um, a better tripod so that I could raise it and be able to keep you guys in frame. So I'm just tilting in a circle right now. When it starts going off, I'll... Is there a reason why we don't have a kitchen garbage can? Oh, you know what? It's sitting next to the fryer. Um, Chris put it there, and I forgot to put it back. Okay. I'll be in in just a minute. Good job. And we're going to go off on this side. And come back to the center. to this side. Hope I don't lose all my purple. Purple is my favorite color. I'm losing my purple, but that's okay. Maybe I'll have to find another favorite color. Back to the center. So it doesn't look like Northern Lights, but it does look pretty cool. To the side. I remember to prep the back of my can whoops, prep the back of my canvas this time. The other one that wasn't prepped with um, tape. And I like the way it looks with the tape. It doesn't look all messy in the back. Okay, I don't know how much you guys saw. I just realized my camera cut off on me. So I got it all tilted. I like the way it looks. I'm going to leave it as it is. Um, it, uh, it does look a little dark, but I think it'll lighten up a little bit that, uh, sapphire blue is, um, brightening it up a bit. It does not look like the Northern Lights right now. So we shall see. I'm going to do another quick little torch. And learn how to use this thing. Oh, I can't. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So let me bring you in for the close-up. And... Tell me what you guys think. Be right back. So this is the close-up. So you see a little, I'm not see, really seeing any of the purple in here. There's a little bit right there. But there's cells everywhere. Everywhere. And they're very pretty. I think I am finally getting this down. At least this type of pour my consistencies and whatnot. Now I just need to practice on the others, but that's it. There's the whole thing. I think that's kind of cool. It almost looks like a nebula. So tell me what you think. Have a blessed night. I'll be back in about a half hour to see what it's done. All right. Bye. Okay, lovely people. It has been about 30 minutes. It hasn't really changed much, actually, which is kind of interesting. So, let's see. We have that little bit of cells there. That's kind of cool. I like the um, yellow that came up. 
no yellow in the painting, but I'm sure that's a mix of the green and something. And I like that little corner. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what else do we have? I like all the little yellow cells coming up. That's kind of cool. So there we have it. It looks, I got some canvas showing there and there. We'll see how that dries. But there you have it. It doesn't look anything like the Northern Lights, like my other one. However, looks like a nebula and I am kind of pleased with it. So I think I'll keep it. All right, all y'all go out there and paint the world pretty. And I will see you next time. God bless. This is the Northern Lights one I did the other day. And it did some changing. It's got a coat of varnish on it. I have to see what it looks like in the sun. And I'm going to put another coat of varnish on it um, day after tomorrow when I get home from work. So I like all of this right in here because it looks like, um, it looks like the, so actually looks like Northern Lights. So I love that corner right there. I don't know what that, why it did that, but I like it. So this is it. It needs another coat of varnish and then it will go off to its forever home. So, all right, y'all. God bless. Have a good one. Go paint the world pretty. Purple. I love purple.